Hi, my name is Martin Gilchrist, and I am the practice manager at Gilchrist & Co. Chartered Accountants. You may notice that there's a small clock up in the corner here doing a countdown. The countdown is to keep me honest. Um, there's a temptation to waffle on when you've come across an exciting idea that you want to tell people about. And I was fortunate today to meet with Declan Barry. Declan Barry is the founder of Export Explore, and he's a overseas international sales and marketing consultant. And he's also a good friend of mine. I've known Declan now for, I don't know, almost 15 years, certainly a lot longer than 10 years. And as all good businesses do, good business owners do, um, I meet with lots of business owners um, when what may seem like just a coffee and a chat, um, get together, have, you know, a bit of a gossip and to share stories and to update each other on what's going on. But the important reason for doing that sort of thing is it creates bonds. It creates bonds of trust and respect and credibility. Um, if you're going to work with people, you really want to know as much as you can who they are. If you're going to refer or recommend people, you don't want your own credibility and reputation to be damaged. So you want to know the people that you're going to be recommending. And the way to do that is to meet with people, to have conversations with them, to spend time with them and to work on projects with them. And when I met Declan today down in, um, where was it? In, in St. Field, the White Horse, the St. Field. We had a lovely lunch together. One of the things that Declan brought up was the story of Gilchrist and Co. He expressed to me that he thought, and I think he's right, that there is a story that might be of interest to people who are just thinking of starting their own businesses or have just started their own businesses or even who have been engaged in their own business for many years now of how Michelle and I started Gilchrist & Co, um, got it off the ground in those first two or three years, and then grew it to be the successful practice it is today. Now, Gilchrist & Co is a, I suppose, it's a lifestyle business, it's a livelihood business, it's uh, a relatively small business, but it's still an incredibly successful business that provides for its owners everything that we want and require from the business. And Declan said that, you know, pointed out to me that, do you know what, we, Michelle and I are very lucky um, about where we have um, arrived at this stage in our careers. And I, I agree with him. Um, Michelle and I both love what we do in the practice here. We, we really enjoy the people that we get to work with and we, get, we really get to enjoy the work that we do as well including the networking and the branding and the marketing and the accounts and the administration and um, the uh, training and the um, CPD and, and all that great stuff that um, we get, get to do at the practice. So Declan asked the question, Martin, why don't you write a book? Why don't you tell the story of how this all happened? How did it work for you? And part of me was hesitant about that. First of all, there's the time involved, and um, you know, am I is, is anybody really going to be interested? You know, um, is it a bit presumptuous to put yourself forward as some sort of an expert or a guru or a, you know, is Gilchrist and Co really that successful? Would it, would anybody else be interested in that story? It may be successful for us, but to anybody else as a small practice, maybe it's not, maybe it's not that successful. Um, but when I thought about it and, and, and discussed it with Declan, I realized that we have a real resource, a real manual in relation to the history of what we have done over the last 12, 15 years. The practice is nearly 17 years old now, maybe it's over 17 years old. Um, but we were on Facebook as soon as arrived. One of the first accounts you practice in Northern Ireland, certainly that I was aware of, that was using Facebook. We have been prolific on LinkedIn. We have almost 30 odd thousand followers on Twitter. 
And the reason we have followers and engagement is because of content. And that content consists of events, it consists of stories, it consists of articles, it consists of videos, it consists of many, many interviews and conversations that we have had with business owners over the years. It consists of conferences that we have organized and events and conferences that we have attended. It consists of advice and, and support and uh, guidance that we have provided online. It consists of just general storytelling about what we're up to personally and our feelings about how things are going and, and um, our concerns and our hopes and our, our uh, aspirations and, and all that stuff is, a lot of it's on the public record um, on Facebook and LinkedIn. And anybody can go onto our profiles and, and go back over many, many years and see all of that. So I, that, that resource is there. It's available um, to Michelle and I. And what I thought is after um, Declan's prompting and uh, encouragement, I thought there might actually be some interest in pulling all that information together uh, in, 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 regards to a, in regards to a resource for anybody that's thinking about starting a business, that's in business, that's... that's wondering how, how people go about starting a business. And maybe that's interesting in the story of how a um, two people, husband and wife, decided to set up a business, um, started it, grew it, and um, found clients, built a community, um, organized events, and, and all the stuff that we do at Gilchrist in order to end up with a very successful livelihood. How, how, does, how does that actually happen? And maybe give some tips and techniques and, and hints and, and tell stories about how we actually did that without trying to report ourselves to be some sort of sm smarter than anybody else or um, more gifted or uh, better educated or any of that type of stuff. But that's not what we're trying to do. We just want to tell a story of what we did and, and share what we did in a way that we hope might be helpful. And then off the back of that, um, maybe, maybe there'll be the possibility to write a, a, a book about tell that story and hopefully make that interesting. So this recording and uh, this, this conversation is the very first starting point in that. And if you're interested, look out for it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna think of some, I'm gonna have to think of some ha clever hashtag that relates to this, but it'll all be on the Gilchrist and Co page. And uh, we'll, we'll see where this develops. Part of the process is that I would like to speak with you. So if you're a business owner, a wannabe with business owner, if you're thinking about starting a business, if you've been in business, if you're retired from business, if you have any experience in, in the professions or any other sort of business, uh, and you would like to be part of this project, I would love you to come along and speak to me. I would like to meet you in person. I would like to meet you online. I would like to... Um, speak to you and, and, and maybe record some of your advice and your comments and your stories in regard to your journey in business so that we can create um, some sort of an archive together that could be useful to other people that are following this path. Okay, as you can see, um, the, the countdown that I've set myself, the time that I've set myself for these conversations has swiftly come to the end. Um, my ask at this point is, if you're interested in what I'm doing and want to engage with me, share with me, talk with me, and are happy to be interviewed, recorded, um, share your advice, tips, have yourself get the profile on the here as well. Reach out to me, DM me, message me, and let me know. And I would, I would love to hear from you. Um, if there's anything that you would want included, or you've any questions about what to do, send them through, and I will certainly try to deal with them as part of this process. But this is the very first tentative step into a project, into a story, and uh, let's see where it takes us. I very much look forward to going on this journey with you. Okay, I'm going to finish up now early. Let, let's be good on the first of these uh, conversations. And maybe the next time you'll see me, there'll be someone joining me and, and, and helping me on, help me on this journey. Sure you for now, everyone. See you shortly. All the best. Bye.